This is the Santa Clara River in Los Angeles, just near Santa Clarita. So what I want to show is this river. Um, so the river is this enormous, enormous riverbed. And I don't know whether you can make it out on camera, but this enormously wide riverbed just stretches for miles and miles and miles and miles. And almost always it's dry, it's bone dry. But there's little sections like this one where water appears. And then I'll show you in a little bit, it just disappears. So I think the river runs underneath the ground. And there's quite a bit of water running uh, a bit further that way, which is upriver. Um, the, the current, uh, the amount of water is, is quite a lot more. But then the thing that I wanted to show you is then the water just appears, gathers, and then runs along for a little bit. But then if we follow it, which we're doing now, it just disappears back into the ground. How well this shows up on camera. We'll get over here so you can see the sunlight reflecting off the water. But the volume of water is decreasing. There's a little rivulet over there that's already, already ended. So let's follow this one. There's the water, it's water. And if you look at it, you can see it's flowing. It's flowing quite fast. If you follow it, it just stops. <laughs> it just disappears. So quite a bit of water. And uh, back up there where the water was wider, where there was a lot more water, it's running quite quickly. So if you caught the water, you know, you'd get quite a few litres per minute, but then it just disappears. Right, this is another little section of the, the Santa Clara River. Uh, the water flow here is probably the highest bit that I've seen. Just show down here. Yeah, I don't know whether it shows up on camera very well, but you know, it's litres upon litres per minute. It's quite a fast flow rate. All this water is coming from somewhere, but it just appears in the riverbed, flows for a little bit, and I'll show you up a bit further. This all disappears underground as well. This is at the second water course. And you can see quite a bit of water is running down here. You know, it's many, many, many liters per minute. It's quite a bit of water. Particularly since this water just appears out of the ground. So it's not as though there's some other source of water that empties into this river and this is just that water before it soaks into the ground. This water appears out of the ground, gathers in enough quantity that it runs quite strongly and then up a little bit further it just disappears again. So between those two trees in the distance. So here we are on the other side of those two trees and so you can see the water coming through the trees from where we were just before. And the water's spread out a little bit and you can already see how much less water there is. And then just up there, you can see it all just disappears. And here we are at the point where some of the water just disappears 
Uh, so you can see you know, froth on the top of the water arriving at this point here. And then it just reaches this point in the ground here and disappears. A big fan shaped end here so that water's running down, spreads out onto the sand and disappears back underground. From this point this way, it's completely dry.